everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. Should be out on the porch because it's going to rain later and I don't know what it's going to be like later on. But I do know I need to filter some water. Um, I need to take this boy for a couple of walks. Say hi, Papa. Say hi. Oh, he's such a sweetie. Uh, Got to go check on the chickens in a little bit. Um, so I don't know if there's going to be a lot of uh, outdoor projects done today. But I do want to share some photos with you of Judy that Donna and Christine have been taking. Um, so you can see how Miss Judy's doing. They're taking such good care of her. Uh, I need to start planning the fence. And you know what I was thinking? Tractor Supply Company has fencing and posts. I may be able to get the rest of the stuff that I need. Um, just depends on what their prices are. Uh, I am going to need help though. Yep, definitely. Uh, Mr. Lucas said I can borrow his steak pounder thingy. Um, other than that, I don't know what's going to happen today, guys. First, I want to share some photos of Judy. This is a photo I took before Donna and Christina picked her up. Sometimes when she snuggles with you at night, you get the nose, and then other times you get the buttocks. <laughs> I can't remember if I shared these with you, but if not, you get to see them again. Here she is at Donna's playing with the snowball. First time seeing snow, I'm pretty sure. And taking a little nappy poo with her green ball. Ain't she sweet? And now she's playing with her red ball. Oh, I wish I could see live video of this. And look at this. I love this photo. Up on Donna's table, kind of looking around. And here she is playing with her new chew toy. Oh, my goodness. And here she is digging in the snow for her ball. I think she loves it. Oh, and look at this. See that little piggy down there? It reminds me of that hedgehog toy she loves to play with and snuggle with. It's the only thing she has not tore up yet. And there she is with her ball basking in the sun. And check this out, you guys. I got some footage outside. There's been hawks all over the place. And although I didn't really capture them on video very well, you can hear them. I'm pretty sure these are hawks. You tell me if I'm wrong. I'm telling you, you guys, those hawks were all over the place. And each time they made a pass, they would come down closer and closer to the chicken yard. Um, and Mr. Lucas was seeing them across the street. I was out back gathering some soil. Oh, I got to show you that too. And um, he saw the hawks and he fired his weapon at one of them to scare them away. He would never shoot them and to kill them, but um, he did scare them away. So there's a ton of hawks out here right now. Um, I don't know if those were hawks, but the ones Mr. Lucas saw, he said he's pretty sure they were hawks. Anyhow, speaking of Mr. Lucas, I was over at his uh, chicken yard yesterday and was looking at his chickens. Oh, he got this huge, huge brown egg. I mean, it was the biggest egg I've ever seen. I wouldn't be surprised if there's three yolks in there. Is that possible? Anyhow, his biggest black hen had, well, she had caught something and the chickens were chasing her around. So here, check it out. Look at that. That hen's got a frog in her mouth. <laughs> She's been chasing it around. All the other chickens have been trying to get it. This is Mr. Lucas' pen. Look at, is she gonna eat the whole thing? Oh my goodness. Looks like she's trying. She's mangled that thing. Yep, she's going to eat it. She's just trying to get it broke apart. None of these other hens will get it. She, she's ready. Oh, there it went. Oh, my gosh. She ate a whole frog. Good morning, chickens. You guys have been squawking up a storm. How many we got? We got three and three. 
It's only 10.30, so I don't know. I'll be surprised if there's a full thing of eggs in there. No better time than the present to find out. I spoke too soon. We got six. See this, you guys? This is soil that I harvested off of my own land. And it looks pretty rich. It's still got a little bit of clay in it because it still does kind of hold together a little bit. I wish I had some sand to mix in with it. But uh, I've been finding this soil around tree stumps or decaying wood. It's laying all over my property. And I filled a whole tub with it. So I'm thinking I'm going to try and fill some of those buckets over there, maybe, and see if I can just use my own soil. I mean, it looks, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right there. I need to dig down, you know, make this deeper, and then poke those two things in, make another greenhouse. This one here, same thing. I need to fill this with soil. Hmm, that's going to be a lot of soil. I need to put some more leaves and whatnot in the bottom too. Same with that one. And more plastic over the top. And I've expanded this. <laughs> I put two hoops. Look at those hoops. Those are perfect. I got me a nice greenhouse going on right here. I've been going over to Mr. Lucas and digging up his garlic chives because he says he doesn't want them. And I have transplanted a few of them along with onions down here in the same kind of soil that they were being raised in. And Mr. Lucas, I want to show you my other little Willy Wonka garden. It's right down here. And yes, the chickens do get over here and they do peck around. So look at all those garlic chives. They're just going to keep spreading and spreading. And I also planted a few of the onions. There's one there, one there. Gosh, there was another one, but yep, the chickens ate the top off of it. Um, and there were a couple of seeds that I just put down there. So it's okay if they eat the tops off of them. I don't think it's going to... Yeah, there's one there. Um... <laughs> maybe something else is eating them who knows but what I'd like to do is clear out this whole area and just plant stuff in here um, there's a little that's a little cedar tree I think and I think there's another one somewhere else nearby those cedar trees those little saplings grow all over the place I almost forgot to show you yep this is what I've done with the little so-called rocket stove. I've turned it into an oven slash grill. Now, I, I kind of had to change it around since I showed it to you the last time. But um, until I can get some more cinder blocks, this is the way it's going to be. So, let me show you. Down here, that's for air circulation. And I don't know if you can see, but I positioned these blocks so that this one is offset just a little bit and this one is offset a little bit so I can pull this thing in and out as needed. And then the top looks like this. Um, if I'm just gonna grill something, I can do it like this, put a pot of something over there, put another pot of something over there or just leave it open, let it act as airflow. But when I am not using it as a grill, I turn it into an oven. When it's in oven mode, first what I'll do is I'll build my fire. I'll even take this out. Throw a bunch of kindling, bunch of wood down in there. Throw this back in there. And then once the fire has gone down to really nice hot coals, I will do this to it. <laughs> yep, all I did was put one of these in front. Since there's a little gap right here. Let me see if I can move this. Little gap right there. I close that off. I cover at least these with bricks and get them as close together as possible. And I bring them over this seam a little bit just to help block the air. Yep, air still gets through, but that's okay. Now over here, it really depends on what I got going on. Sometimes I will cover this whole thing with four bricks or that thing. It's just bricks work easier. Um, but sometimes I'll just leave it like this uh, because you still need to have a little bit of air circulating, just a teensy bit. Um, but sometimes I will leave this open and take that and put it over there and cook a pot of something on it uh, while I'm baking something in the oven. And I've got an assortment of other grills I can use if I need to. Um, but most of the time when I'm baking something in the oven, like I've been baking potatoes, I'll leave it like this. And I can bake a potato in about 30 minutes. Turn it once after 15 minutes. And it's wonderful. It's been working great. Now, <laughs> yes, these uh, cinder blocks will crack after a certain period of time after they've been, you know, exerted to heat 
and uh, so and these are old most of these are old so I'll need to get some new bricks I would actually love to build this completely out of here but the thing is is I needed a good solid base and back so it took one two three four five six seven um, and then I've got those two over there seven cinder blocks and those two are just at the back to hold those up and one two three four of those I don't know what you call them just the solid ones and one two three four five six seven eight really about ten bricks I need to find a couple more bricks uh, and it's been working really great so eventually I'm going to invest in some more cinder blocks and replace the ones that are cracking and just make it more awesome now one thing I have noticed too is that there is well let me just uh, take this apart again and I'll show you for this to be a really good proper oven this needs to be higher so I actually need to build another layer and bring it up one more layer and then instead of having this down here have it up here because I'm noticing that when I cook things and it's really close down there to the embers the coals that sometimes the bottom of the pan will get scorched or I mean I don't care about the pan getting scorched but the food gets scorched too uh, so it'll burn on the bottom so I just have to watch my heat a whole lot now but eventually I want to bring this up just a little bit more and then have this up here and then bring this up a little bit higher as well so eventually when I get more cinder blocks I'm going to be able to do that but that is wonderful well now I've got to go filter some water I've got to pick up some more trash because there's still trash out there in the woods I don't know if it's blowing in from my neighbor's property or what but I got to get rid of it uh, just to do a couple other piddly little things around here I'm gonna cook something out there tonight I don't know what I've made baked potatoes like two times and they're so good and creamy and I put some of that Velveeta cheese sauce on it oh, delicious so that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day I hope you all have a wonderful day that's all I got for you guys today see you in the next video for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.